Okay, so we're now on Amiga Addict issue 32. And for anyone new to my channel who's been following me recently for Amiga content, you might not be aware of this magazine. I did one around a month ago for issue number 31. Uh, $6.99, you can pick these up from WH Smith. They even have a website where you can actually order these online if you don't have a WH Smith nearby. So if you're new to Amiga Addict, some issues I believe actually come with a physical floppy disk. However, this issue, as well as the previous issue, there's actually a QR code inside which makes up for the lack of disk. Obviously, uh, floppy disks of this day and age are a little bit harder to come by. So it's presented in, say, an Amiga format style, and you've got a mixture of new stuff in there. We got Amiga news, and we got, like I say, new hardware. Uh, we also got advertisements for a brand new game, which is Rowcraft, which I've not actually played yet, but that one's actually available from itch.io. I will pick that one up at some point. I think it looks pretty good. So this is the cover disc section, which I was just talking about. Here's the QR code, and just pretty much tells you everything what's on that cover disc this month. Uh, we also got some advertisements here for some joysticks, which are possibly USB style. I'm not sure, uh, but there's plenty of advertising in Amiga Addict, and in fact, I actually found out about Checkmate. So at the moment, I'm on the look for an old computer to replace it with a Checkmate case, just to make things look awesome. So we've got some very nice Amiga 1200 modifications going on here, and some information on how to upgrade Amiga 1200. Looks like we got some sort of Amiga vent just here, and some images from an Amiga vent, which is a pixel addict by the looks of it. Now, something which a lot of you will be familiar with is this type of section here. So back in the 90s, you'd obviously see stuff like this displayed in Amiga format, or in my case, Commodore 64 or Commodore format. So you've got some really cool Amiga addict t-shirts and some merch just there. And it's also gonna give us some information on back issues as well. So the theme of this month is Championship Manager. Now, not my cup of tea, but I know that Championship Manager is a very popular game amongst Amiga fans, a bit like Sensible Soccer. So this issue's latest new game review is for Tony Mazuma Scored. I've not played the Amiga version of this yet, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, the Atari 8-bit version I played this. So a monochrome game, and some people was oohed and ad about this just because of how it looks. Personally, I thought it was a really good game on the platform I played it on. We also got advertising here for Commodore 64 Wi-Fi modems. And we got a classic review just here from Team 17. This is Quack, which was released in 1993. Uh, we also got advertising in here for companies or individuals who's prepared to uh, tidy up Amigas or Amigas from yesteryear, which needs a lot of maintenance. So if you've got an Amiga computer and uh, so you've got a battery corrosion on the motherboards, then there's plenty of companies inside of this magazine who can help you with that. And we got some more advertising, so we got a new style tank mouse, which is obviously uh, from the iconic Amiga 500. And we got some more hardware just here, uh, featuring new ROM chips. So if you need any new ROM chips, if your old classic ROM chips are dated, then there's websites in here you can refer to. And there's even hacks in here, so as we can see just there, someone's actually using a portable USB device to play floppy disks from. So plenty of information in here if you want to experiment with things like that. We've also got a demo scene section. So for any Amigans out there who likes demos, then there's plenty of new releases here by the Seams bit to check out. Now we've got coding in Amos. So this is currently on part 10. Uh, like I said, my first issue was actually from last month. So it's obviously up to part 10 now, like I say. And uh, what the person's doing in here, who is Keith Elkoom, he's actually teaching you how to code a game using Amos. So for anyone out there who wants a program in Amos, this is a very good starting point. 
And as usual, just like the last issue, actually, we got this cute little section here where you could actually cut out this little section and give it to the news agent. Of course, I don't think many people are ages who's likely going to be buying this magazine is actually going to go through with that. Um, I think this magazine is actually aimed at old schoolers like myself. And... Um, yeah, we just like to collect these type of things, especially in my case if it's Commodore. If you've missed issue 31, which I covered last month, check out my playlist and you'll find it in there. And if you are new to my channel, I've got a lot of Amiga content, including a recent review of AmiKit, which is a very awesome Amiga system. Anyways, thanks for watching and until next time, stay retro.